there is, is a wash with little smiling red hats that have been a hit among Olympic fans. From plush toys to magnets, the official mascot paraphernalia has been flying off the shelves, with many people intrigued by how it looks and what it represents. Ali Vamsha reports from Paris. At each Games, the official mascots are considered to be ambassadors embodying the Olympic spirit. But here in Paris, you probably might not be alone if you find it difficult to make out what the official mascot really is. Now, some say it looks like a bird, others think it looks like an inverted tongue. But to get to the bottom of it, a little lesson on French history might help, right? Called the Friges, it's a nod to the Phrygian cap, which was worn during many historical moments, such as the French Revolution in the 1700s and even the 1924 Paris Olympics. Organisers say that the object is an important symbol of freedom for the French people. Plus, to champion inclusivity on sport's largest sporting stage, the Paralympic version also has a visible disability, the first since the 1994 Winter Paragames in Norway. And now that the games are well underway, the fridges are ubiquitous and in fact almost unavoidable on the Parisian streets. Their own hats and magnets, plush toys and even posters reminding people to dispose their trash responsibly. For many, its appeal goes beyond just looks. It's great that you have a mascot to feel more connected with um, the Olympic Games that they have a little mascot. I think everyone should have uh, one. I think it's more popular because it's cute, so <laughs> I think that's why I think it's very uh, great. It gets uh, more tourists to buy it and you can say, oh, I have one from Tokyo and I have one from uh, Paris and in Beijing. I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, and the take on the French French hat that it's modeled after, but it's just adorable. We've seen it in competition, dancing, and like having fun with everybody. It's very cute. After I looked it back up, I was like, I remember that hat. Napoleon wore a hat similar to that. Coincidentally, France is also the birthplace of this Olympic tradition. It introduced the first ever mascot at the 1968 Winter Games, a big-headed fellow on skis called Shoes. The rest is history, with every Games having a mascot since, except 1972. And if you're already looking forward to the next big thing after the fridges, well, Stoat siblings Tina and Milo will arrive at the Italy Winter Games in about two years' time. Alif Amsha, CNA, Paris.